What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. This video is a supplementary video to my how to use MPC expansion pack content in standalone mode video that I uploaded recently. So that video showed you how to just go and get the content from your Mac or your PC and dump it onto your MPC X or MPC Live or the hard drive that you're using to store your samples. And that would allow you to just grab the waveform data, the program files, the XPMs, the project data, and so on and so forth. But this is how you properly export those so they show up in your machine in standalone mode, and then you get access to the expansion thumbnails and the graphics that are shown in your content browser. So it's really simple. You just literally have to be in controller mode with your MPC, connected to your Mac or your PC, and you need to have the MPC 2.1 software open. You need to now go to the file menu of the MPC 2.1 software, go to export, go all the way down to the bottom and choose expansion. Then this window pops up. You can choose the drive that you want to save the expansions to. So I'm gonna choose this iOmega 500 gigabyte external hard drive that's connected to my MPC X. And I'm gonna select all. You can also select none and then just choose any of these individually if you've already got some of these on here. So I'm gonna select all. I'm just gonna unselect this one because it was just a test one that I was creating myself. So I'm gonna put all these expansions onto my MPC X. Press export. So the time it takes to export these expansion packs will probably depend on the speed of the drive that you're using with your MPC X or MPC Live. The drive that I'm using, the iOmega 500 gigabyte hard drive, is a mechanical drive and it's quite a few years old. So I'm not too sure how fast an SSD drive will be or a modern USB thumb drive will be or an SD card. But this drive is probably about eight years old and it's still very reliable, but it's gonna take a few minutes to copy all of these over fully. And there you go, the export operation completed successfully. So I'm gonna press OK. Now I'm just gonna shut the software down. I'm just gonna move it to the side here. I'm gonna eject my iOmega drive. And I'm also gonna eject my SD card. And now I'm gonna quit out of the software. So now I've quit out of the software, let's choose standalone mode. Projected my drive so I can say yes. I'm just gonna go to the browser and I'm gonna select expansions and there you go. So now we've got Arab Music, Chilled Trap, Dark Parallax, Future Dimensions, Hook City Trap and Soul, Raw Cuts, Slow Mo Trap and Ambient Lows and Urban Escapade. And if I click on any of these, I can now select those. This way is a lot easier guys, just do it straight from the software, then at least you get all the nice pretty artwork show up here, which I know some people thought was a bit of a pointless update, but it actually does make sense to do it this way because at least you get these nice graphics to see where you're at and you can just go and choose whichever expansion you want and take the content out of it that way. Of course you can still delete any of these song files or the project files or the program files and just be left with the actual raw wave data. But to be honest, these don't really take up a lot of memory. It's just a matter of choosing waveform there and then you don't even have to view those files if you don't want to deal with those. So that's it guys, really simple tutorial for today. I will see you on the next one. This is Tube Digger and I'm out.